and then it took, I guess, weeks of, uh, of editing and, and, you know, post-production, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I'm not real big on making clips. I'd rather just, you know, I'm a ham. I need a lot of people, you know, yeah. sitting in front of them. Otherwise, you can't get me to do it. A live so, man. Uh, yeah, so basically, I, they, they're used to um, just getting me in and out as quick as possible, you know? I'm, sitting next, to, I'm sitting next to uh, Michael Gadinsky. Has, uh, has Michael screwed you in a big way, Jimmy? Uh, you can be quite frank here. Oh, no, that, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a commercial term. It's a technical term, not a, not a physical thing. Um, no, well, he tongue kissed me once. <laughs> oh, that's, what, that's what's on your mouth. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what, what is Michael? What to the yeah. tune of what has Michael ripped you off? And let's, we're amongst friends here. We're just talking Australia. Can we talk? Yeah. <laughs> just between us. Yeah. yeah just between I, I, us. You know, to tell you the truth, you know, uh, Michael, you know, runs Mushroom Records, and you know, I don't really have a clue how much he's ripped me off because it is Mushroom Records that keep you in a dark and feed you on bullshit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, Seriously, what, what has Michael done for you? And this is a chance Michael's, to Michael's done, say something. Michael's done for me, you know, I wish he wasn't in the room because I could lie a bit more. But uh, no, I think he's um, he's been a good mate and, you know, a good record company. What I like about Michael the most, without, you know, sticking it in too far, is uh, that he's... Uh, that he's is that a rock and roll term? <laughs> that is, that is, that is. A broken hill term, actually, yeah. Um, is that, that he supports Australian music, otherwise I wouldn't any be, be anywhere near him. You know, he's a good mate and he supports the, the industry. Yeah. Oh. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Go, give him a kiss. No, no. Right. And now uh, you're a wild man. You are a wild man of rock and roll. Uh, yeah, I, I read, read that. Time. I read so, that. Never, yeah, I read that. I read that myself on this fan tile thing. Um, but, but the wild man of rock and roll. But now that uh, you're a family man, how, has that sort of tamed you? Has it changed you, your attitude at all? Um, you obviously change. You know, like I'm not doing exactly what I was doing when I was uh, 16, 17 years old. You know, um, you know. You, you change, but it's not a matter. Of, I'm no, I'm no different as far as personality goes. I'm still as reactionary as I ever was, and whatever. But you know, obviously, I just don't go out and kill myself every night. You know, so if that's if that's made me milder, then yes, I'm, I've tamed a bit. But does, it, uh, does the family too with you? They do most of the time, and that, that's the other thing. You know, when you've when you've got a family, uh, you know, and particularly if you've got them on the road, you know, you don't want to be. Um, you don't wake up at nine in the morning and go and hit an early opener. You know, you know, yeah. you, you sort of want to want to get out and spend time with your, your kids and stuff like that, and. Um, so, you know, obviously your lifestyle changes, but it's no, you know, for me it's for the better, you know. And the other thing is, too, uh, to tell you the truth, I find that I can perform much better, you know, my family's there, you know. I, I actually don't go out and get to the early opener at 9 in the morning, you know, so I'm, I'm much the more... the kids come up the front and bang their heads on the stage and... <laughs> they, actually, no, they're getting on the stage now, that's the they're problem. They're on the stage. They're on the stage. Well, you see, they sang on the record. I got them up to sing on the, on, uh, on the album, on the ballad, and, you know, since then I just can't get them off, you know. It's, uh, the, my be. daughter, Mahel, you know, she, she's been up and sang a few times, now and they've all got it planned for the big for the concert run all the kids want to get up but Mahalia is not only wanting to sing the ballad now she wants to do the rest of the set as well you know that's a major worry mate we're well it could save me a fortune in back and sing actually. <laughs> mate, we're going to take a break i'm with barnsey yo barnsey yo, yo. Oh, we're going to uh, we're going to take a break this is a clip make it last all night that's the end of round two stick around with uh i'm with barnsey and basically barnsey's breaking out in cold sores left right and center barnsey what um you would too if you drink enough of this shit i'm telling you <laughs> now what actually is in this concoction if you had to be specific for our, um, if we could take a recipe and people can write in of course can, they yeah can. well i'll tell you that where you're gonna have to write to is a place called dean's veranda bar in sydney it's the only place i get it and i actually have it flown around you know they fly down boxfuls of it it's grapefruit uh sorbet they make with pink grapefruit and yeah. campari and then you just pour as much vodka in as you can stand yeah. right so pretty pretty light on the grapefruit yeah. and fairly heavy on yeah, the vodka great. and that's the stuff and basically it's already burned a hole in the couch <laughs> Uh, welcome back. Uh, Michael Gadinsky was kissing Jimmy Barnes during the break, but it was no big deal. Um, we have a segment we call Viewer Faxes. <laughs> hot dog. Everybody, get Leo the security guard to, to lead them out. Let's go and have a look at the hot dog stand. Come on, Barnsley, come on. Let's go and see the hot dog. rehearsal room in here. This is where uh, Paul Grabowski does his damage. <laughs> he's got the chicken pot. No, he's, uh, no, he's, his brother ain't good. No, his brother's, uh, his brother's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Come out here. This is Jimmy Barnes. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, nice to see you. How you doing? 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 Adrian. All right, uh, Adrian, uh, what, what are you doing here? You're obviously making hot dogs. You're making a killing. Oh, uh, well, you know, it depends on how you entertain the show. Is if they come out happy. Yeah, Gordy, oh, yeah, yeah. Leo, 
Leo, pay attention. We're doing a television show. <laughs> Leo, the security guard. So, uh, Jimmy, what do you do in your spare time? Come and do this sort of stuff, mate. Just hang around and do nothing, you know. You choose what? to do this. Yeah, no, I'd actually, I don't, you know. Well, I, I normally, you know, hang up at my place. You were up there. Yeah. My bar there. Well, the camera yeah, was. Yeah, the camera was up there. Yeah. So you go horse riding and yeah, all that, you know, well, horse riding. You're a big golfer too, aren't you? I'm a big golfer. Like I said on the show, I'm terrible. And actually, since I spoke to you last, I think I've got worse. Have you? Yeah, it's shocking. What's gone wrong? I don't you've know. You've started using. I've, I've started using the right end of the club. I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a, a musical act now. Our, uh, are you all right, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our next group is currently uh, one of Australia's hottest new bands. They're performing the debut hit single, Shout Me Down. Please welcome The Slow Club. Hey, Mr O'Malley, O'Malley, you know, <laughs> the Irish Dolby Twins, they're out there.